I think that Australia was a little bit ahead of the curve in, in terms of uh, videos because I think people were making videos then. I think MTV at that point had about four and they just play them over and over again. We were lucky enough to be one of those four. Traveling in a fight out combi On a hippie trail head full of zombies I met a strange lady She made me nervous She took me in and gave me breakfast And she said Do you come from a land down under? A women go my favorite parts of Melbourne for sure. There, there we have the Palais Theatre over here, which has been here for ages. We have Luna Park, fantastic. This is the Esplanade Hotel. We played here around 80, 80, 81 or something like that. I think this is probably Melbourne's most famous rock bar. Fantastic place. Sydney has its places as well, but I think Melbourne was always known as being the most musical town, if you like. So for men at work and for the musician Colin Hay, St. Kilda was, uh, is important. Yeah. Crucial. Fine bread from a man in Brussels. He was six foot four and full of muscle. I said, Do you speak of my language? He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And he said, I come from a Afternoon. Australia 2 has done the impossible. It's won the America's Cup, the trophy that had never been lost by the United States in its 132-year history. It's all happening here as Australia 2 comes back to dock. An extraordinary moment in Australian sporting history. Wives, girlfriends, parents, children and politicians struggled through the pack to touch the hems of these new Aussie heroes. It was a hit and then a year later the, the America's Cup was won by... Australia, so the John Bertram, who was the, the skipper of that boat, he adopted Down Under as the official theme song. People thought we wrote the song for the America's Cup, but, but we didn't. They just, they just adopted the song. big thing it was almost like a gaining some kind of it it, it, it enhanced the uh, the Australian identity because we now that was like well we we won this yacht race but people other parts of the world mm. you know didn't give a fuck because they, they they'd never heard of the America's <laughs> Cup <laughs> At the end of the day, it ended up being a, a beer drinking song, and people. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be particularly a song about waving the flag, you know. It was a lot more of a, a statement about overdevelopment and the desecration of, of 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 the country and the loss of spirit for short-term gains and all that kind of stuff. That's really what the song was about. There was, there was all this kind of symbolism in it. Like at the end, there was like this road case which was supposed to symbolize a coffin, which was again supposed to symbolize the death of the country, the death of Australia, you know, because there was something about, something about the end of innocence or the end of the naivety or something or other, and all of a sudden we're in the world of real estate developers and uh, unscrupulous multinationals who are going to, in a sense, destroy the spirit of the country. But it's, it, is, it is ultimately a song about celebration, though, because it is celebrating this place, because there's a lot to celebrate about this country, because it truly is an awesome place. Yeah.